Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Tarot, especially love for zodiac signs and this is for the month of June 2017 and it is for you coming from Libra. So let me now shuffle my cards quickly. All right. The first card that I'm going to pull is going to be for the first 15 days of June for you coming from Libra. And the first 15 days are going to be very lucky for you. So I pulled a really good card for you. And it says, in areas of romance, you are going to have plenty of good luck coming your way. And you're going to have the chance of finding a romance if that's what you want. And you're going to have the possibility of doing very well with the romance as well. Let me let this person who is selling something just pass. All right. And so there's an opportunity for you in your romance to blossom. And the first 15 days says that your communicative levels are very good and the opportunities waiting for romance are very strong. And so you become extremely lucky in attracting a romance. If you already have a romance, it is going to do very well as well. You are going to have a blossoming of love and togetherness and it can, in the first 15 days of June, take you to the next stage. There is a slight warning here of not, not trying to be over-determined. Over-determined means wanting be, to be too pushy about a romance that you want so badly and want to control. So take the soft approach in the first 15 days and you will really get what you want. Don't worry. Regarding your marriage, it's also a beautiful card. It's so much bonding going on. There is an attempt from your, uh, from your marriage partner to make life good for you. This message is for you, so you must make the attempt to be as gracious, as accommodating, as supportive, as loving as possible in the first 15 days. And you will see that really things go very well in your marriage. Good news like an addition to a family is also possible. And so this overflows to the happiness of the family with children. And it overflows even to sometimes siblings and to your parents as well, where happiness just exudes. So it's a, it's a lovely first 15 days for you. Now I'm going to talk to you about your next 15 days, last 15 days. And your last 15 days, hang on. Your last 15 days are going to be, for you coming from Libra, difficult. Difficult in the sense that there is a possibility of wanting to do things on your own. And this means that whatever you attempt to do seems to be without consulting either your romance partner or your marriage partner. And that's not good. So the card says that isolation is taking place. Danger of arguments, danger of differences of opinions are also very possible in the last 15 days. And one of the problems is that your level of being oversensitive. Now this message is for you. So don't be oversensitive. Try not to be oversensitive to the stage where you start imagining things said against you which you don't like to hear. Take it easy. Your last 15 days show that financial issues are also involved. So in your financial, in your area of romance and marriage, finance is playing a part. Well, it's only 15 days, the last 15 days, it's not 15 months. So in your last 15 days, tell yourself, try not to bring up these financial issues. And if your partner, a romance partner or marriage partner brings it up, try to take the soft approach. Try to exude a feeling that things will get better. You have to do that, otherwise you're going to drag this problem into a worse situation. Regarding your marriage, there's difficulties also going across the field like to your siblings. So don't include your siblings, their advice or don't let them know if there are differences between you and your marriage partner or to your parents as well because that would be interference from this card. Okay? Well, regard, to talk a bit more about romance, the difficulties show that Firstly, arguments, that's how it's going to start in the last 15 days and that applies to your marriage as well. So immediately when you sense that an argument is coming near to exposing itself to becoming a quarrel, you stop. 
when one partner stops the other partner doesn't go on for very long it's only when there is provocation that the next point of argument comes in so try not to be provocative take it easy and you'll be able to manage the last 15 days quite well now i'm going to talk to you coming from libra your lucky dates for the month of june where you'll find solutions you'll find romance if you want you'll find great harmony in marriage and romance itself you'll find that with your siblings and family areas and parents also plenty of harmony comes about and the dates i've chosen for you are the 8th the 17th and the 26th these are very powerful dates in june for you coming from libra so you will see that solutions can be found a bonding can take place your aura will be very good and people will support you whether in romance or whether in marriage areas so bookmark these dates and go out socializing create a bonding as much as you can now regarding your ages i'm you from from libra i'm going to discuss with you to talk to you about a series now if you happen to be the ages of 17 or 26 or 35 or 44 or 53 or 62 or 71 or even 80 you're going to be very lucky in the areas of romance and your marriage situation will come very nicely poised to give you plenty of good luck and support and make you very happy so bookmark this uh, 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 this this no so sorry if you happen to be these ages you're going to be the lucky one those dates which you have bookmarked try to use them to enhance your luck as well okay all right now if you are not of any of these ages which i've just mentioned don't panic doesn't mean that you will not be lucky don't worry now i'm going to talk to you about colors and for you coming from libra the color that i've chosen for you is the color dark is the color dark blue this card show plenty of dark blueness So I would say that these cards are promoting luck in the form of wear dark blue undergarments, top garments, have a handkerchief that's dark blue, sit on a dark blue chair, contact dark blue in some way, and you will become very lucky during the month of June as well. Now I'm, I'm going to look, to to look at these cards and I'm going to talk about every program i talk about one zodiac sign that can disturb you and cause problems in romance and marriage for you now looking at the zodiac signs on this cards i'm going to worry that somebody from aries can produce problems for you problems in romance problems in marriage and i'm going to go further and say even problems in career and in business as well so if somebody from aries is coming into your life be very alerted to be cautious of this person do not share your secrets with this person if you have a romance partner who is in aries well that doesn't mean you give up on the partner you'll have to be extra careful in how you approach and how you talk to your romance partner and if your marriage partner ha- happens to be from aries then you also have to be very careful in your approach you have to use words which are very respectful you have to use a tone of voice which is very happy to hear otherwise if you have a part a marriage partner with aries is going to be erupting very quickly for you in the month of june the problems are going to get out of hand all right now i'm already skyping and i'm using um a skype to do your horoscope for you and this will cost you usd 5050 it will be for a 90 minute skype based on your date of birth and time of birth and i'll be looking at your palms as well on skype and i'll be looking at you at your face the face is a map of its own that can be used for predictions and so with all this information for your next 5 or 6 years i will be talking to you in great detail for all areas of your life so go to facebook follow me we can skype or rather we can communicate so that we can plan to skype or go to skype itself and make a date and uh, we'll be able to do that okay thank you and goodbye